Listening for signposts. Think about these situations: cooking from a recipe, building a house, following driving directions, and telling a story. What do they have in common? In all of these cases, there is a process or order of events that leads to a desired result. In other words, they all have a beginning. A middle and an end. In academic settings, you will often have to listen to your professors as they describe processes or scenarios in which the order of events is very important. For example, you might listen to a lecture on an important historical event, or you might have to follow instructions to conduct a scientific experiment. You might also have to follow recommended guidelines while writing a research paper. In order to successfully follow a series of steps in a process or the order of events in a story or historical context, it's important to listen for signposts. What is a signpost? A signpost is a word or phrase that can tell you the order in which things happened. There are signposts that signal each of the main phrases in a process or sequence of events. That is, the beginning, the middle, and the end. Here are some common signposts that indicate the start of something. At first, first, in the beginning, initially, to start, to begin. When you hear these phrases, you know that the speaker is referring to the first step in a process, or the beginning of a story, or the first event in a series of events. As the speaker continues talking, you are likely to hear signposts like these: after, after that, before, before that, later. Next, second, then. These words and phrases indicate steps or events in the middle of a process or situation. As you listen, you will usually hear the most steps or events in this middle stage. Pay careful attention to these signposts to understand their order in relation to each other. Once all of the middle steps or events are described, listen for signposts that indicate the end. For example, finally, ultimately, lastly, in conclusion, in summary, in the end. These signposts let you know that the process, story, or series of events has concluded. Let's practice listening for signposts. As you listen to each example, decide which stage it is in: the beginning, the middle, or the end. Next, water the seedling each day. Next is a signpost for the middle stage. Finally, record your results in the chart. Finally indicates the end. Two weeks later, measure the plant's height again. This is a variation on one of the middle signposts you learned. Later, first test the soil. First announces the beginning of the process. Then plant the seed. Then describe something that happens after something else. It's in the middle. Ultimately, your final lab report is due on April third. Ultimately indicates a final step. To start, choose a species of a plant to research. Start is another way to say begin. Now that you can recognize signposts, use them to help you take notes. Remember. 
Each signpost signals a step in a process or a new event in a series of events. You can use them to help you organize the information you hear in a numbered list, a bulleted list, or a timeline. You can then add your own signposts to these notes to summarize what you've heard in the correct order in speech or in writing.